One of the loudest voices in America today is Donald Trump. He's compelling and he's dangerous. Donald Trump is tapping into the very real and very understandable anger of working people. His message resonates with some folks. And when he yells and lashes out, he finds a sympathetic audience who wish more politicians would express their frustration that they feel in their hearts. Listen, I know real down-home talk uh, when I hear it. And I know a load of crap uh, and bluster and baloney when I hear it too. And I don't have to tell you that Trump is full of bluster, baloney, and crap. <laughs> you see? He's also a bigot from his anti-American proposal to ban Muslims to his horrendous comments about women and immigrants. Trump is running on hate, and it seems like the only group that he won't criticize is the KKK. Yeah. Yeah. Now, those statements and positions are bad enough and should disqualify him. But what's getting less attention is how Donald Trump really feels about working people, how he feels about us, what future he sees for us. See, that's the untold story of this campaign, a story that we have to share with our members and all working people. Trump said he loves right to work. He said it's better for the people. And he, for his position, he said 100%. Meanwhile, he's fighting tooth and nail against workers at his hotel in Las Vegas who have organized, been certified, and all they want is a fair shake at his hotel. But this is probably one of the most disturbing things. Trump says our wages are already too high. Can you believe that? He said our wages are too high, that they'll need to be lowered. He also said that outsourcing creates jobs in the long run. And he's advocating the exact opposite of our raising the wages agenda. And I want to give you one more thought to think about. For those of you that may be pondering him as a candidate because he tells it like it is. <laughs> Just look at who he would tap to lead the American economy. A billionaire named Carl Icahn. You remember Carl Icahn out there? Oh, he loved us in the airline industry. He loved us everywhere he went. You remember him? Corporate raider who made a fortune using bankruptcy to destroy pensions and end union contracts. He did it at TWA. He wrecked the pensions of your brothers and your sisters. He bled that airline dry and walked away with 500 million bucks in his pocket. That's who Trump wants to make the Treasury Secretary of this country. You see, Trump says he's with the working class. But when you look at it closely, it's just a lot more of his hot air. See, America needs some truth-telling moment, all right. And here it is. The answer to our nation's challenges isn't anger and division. It's raising wages. And the best way to raise wages is through collective action and collective bargaining and a union on the job. That's the best way to do it.